हेलो गाइस लेट मी आस्क यू फ्यू क्वेश्चंस सो व्हाट इज द मेन चैलेंज अ डेटा साइंटिस्ट फेस व्हेन मॉडल इन प्रोडक्शन और व्हाट इज द रीजनिंग बिहाइंड कंटीन्यूअस परफॉर्मेंस मॉनिटरिंग ऑफ द मॉडल्स और व्हाट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड कंटीन्यूअस रिट्रेनिंग ऑफ द मॉडल्स इन प्रोडक्शन सो द मेन रीजन बिहाइंड ऑल ऑफ दिस चैलेंजेस इज मॉडल ड्रिफ्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज मॉडल ड्रिफ्ट व्हाट आर द रीजंस बिहाइंड मॉडल ड्रिफ्ट एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मॉडल ड्रिफ्ट बेस्ड ऑन दिस रीजनिंग्स So let's start. So what is model drift? So model drift is a degradation in the model performance over the period of time. When model performance degrade or reduces over the period of time, then we say hey, this is nothing but the model drift. And now let's understand what are the different reasoning behind model drift. So it could be uh, the very first reason could be like um, the relationship between input and output variable changes, or there is a overall distribution of the data changes. or it could also be because of the external factors like uh, recently we have witnessed covid breakdown or it could be because of the seasonalities okay so there could be various reasons uh, because of that um, the data has changed and that is impacting our model performance because where we train the model we assume okay whatever data we are utilizing or whatever the types of data or kind of data we are uh, using uh, during model training we are expecting the same data will be there in the future on which we are going to predict right if these two data like future data and current data properties mismatches over the period of time then it is uh, obvious that model performance will degrade now let's understand what are the different types of model drift so based on different properties of uh, input data set or i would say based on input variable and output variable we observed mainly two types of drift that is concept drift and data drift we also have third type of drift that is known as upstream changes okay so that also we'll understand later but there are mainly two types of drift that is concept drift and data drift so let's understand one by one okay so what is concept drift so concept drift is related with the target variable whenever the properties in target variable changes over the period of time then due to that if model uh, degrade the performance or model's predictive power degraded then we say this drift is known as concept drift so let's understand the concept drift with the help of one example so we'll take a spam filtering example okay so now suppose today we are training the model and we have uh, this kind of email so in this email if you see uh, we have a word like lump sum amount okay so where are when we are training our model and then model will understand okay when there is a similar word or same word like lump sum amount then it will identify okay this email is a spam email and it will send it to the spam folder and now what happens in future okay over the period of time scammers also uh, advances themselves and now they are sending a more sophisticated or i would say realistic email though it is a spam mail but it looks like very realistic okay and there is no word like uh, lump sum amount or dollar price or something like that okay so you see this could be example so now uh, model will fi find very difficulty identify this email as a spam mail and then it will simply send it to uh, inbox because it has not identified this as a spam mail okay and then here because this was a spam but model had identified this as a correct email and it sent it uh, into the uh, inbox folder okay so that is where we say okay model has incorrectly identified this email as a correct email or not a spam right so that's where we say okay model performance is degrading due to the uh, change in the properties of target variable that is spam or not spam okay so this is the uh, typical example of concept drift when we have a changes in the uh, target variable and now let's discuss other type of drift that is data drift which is directly related with the input variable so whenever the change in the properties of input variable and that results in the model uh, degradation model performance degrade or reduction reduction in the model performance then we say this is data drift okay so data drift is nothing but the uh, related with the uh input variable which ultimately results in model performance degradation so what could be the reasoning behind a data drift so data drift is directly related with uh, for example uh, as i say input variable right so the properties of input variable could change because of the customer preferences changed so let me take a example of customer preferences for for example you are training a model which uh, predict the house price okay and now um, when you are training the model so most of the people are interested in buying uh, a minimum of 1000 square feet house i am taking a hypothetical example okay so uh, they are uh, interested in buying a 1000 square feet house but over the period of time their preferences priority changes because of some other economical uh, conditions okay and now people are interested in uh, buying uh, houses 
लाइक मोर कॉम्पैक्ट अपार्टमेंट्स और फ्लैट्स विच आर मे बी सेवन हंड्रेड स्क्वायर फीट और एट हंड्रेड स्क्वायर फीट ओके सो दे नॉट लाइक लिमिटिंग देम सेल्व टू बाइंग ओनली मिनिमम थाउजेंड स्क्वायर फीट सो दैट्स वर वी से होगा कस्टमर प्रेफरेंसेज चेंजेस एंड नाउ दिस विल डायरेक्टली इम्पैक्ट द मॉडल परफॉर्मेंस बिकॉज वी हैव ट्रेंड मॉडल वेयर मोस्टली कस्टमर्स वर बाइंग हाउस विच हैज मिनिमम एरिया ऑफ थाउजेंड स्क्वायर फीट बट नाउ कस्टमर प्रेफरेंसेज इज चेंजिंग सो दैट विल डायरेक्टली इम्पैक्ट अवर मॉडल परफॉर्मेंस so that's where we say okay our input uh, data property changes so that's where we say this uh, drift is known as data drift so we had concept drift which was related with uh, target variable that is spam or not spam then we have a uh, data drift which is which is related with um, the input variable property changes okay now i also introduce like uh, another kind of drift like uh, upstream uh, changes so when there is uh, any change in the like uh, For example, let's say uh, uh, one input variable becomes unavailable. So whatever data pipeline you have written, so that is receiving a null values or empty values with respect to that particular variable. Okay, and that will impact your model, right? Because that uh, that variable is like uh, kind of mandatory because that variable you have utilized while training the model, and now that is not available. right it has all missing values then of course it will uh, impact the model performance so these kind of thing um, like uh, changes known as upstream changes which impact the model performance so we have discussed what is concept drift with respect to target variable we have discussed what is data drift with respect to independent variable and then we have also discussed upstream changes which is with respect to like any uh, like variable not available okay or any new variable got added so th these are the different types of model drift now the next very important questions remains like okay we understand okay what are the different types of drift but in reality in production how to identify those drift okay so i am leaving you here with this question and in next video i am going to discuss some statistical methods which are very important and utilized to detect uh, model drift uh, almost real time when model in production okay not in future when our ground truths are available right so we'll be discussing different uh, uh, pro, uh, different methods statistical methods to identify the drift okay so for today uh, that's all so thank you very much for watching and i hope you like the video and if you like then please don't forget to like subscribe and share with your, within your colleagues so thank you